Hello my super saiyan people and welcome to episode up to, to time of Jack and up uh, oh my god of Dragon Ball Super <laughs> Review Honestly we don't have much to say about this episode because not much happened. No, not really. Uh, we enjoyed the episode, don't get us wrong, we, I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is the filler I like, this is the type of filler I like, just the characters fucking mm-hmm. around. Uh, but there's not much to say because honestly it's just a bit of fun, just go watch it. But uh, we're going to try yeah. and say something anyway, so Nick, why don't you take us off? <clears throat> so there's like, give or take about three high moments of the episode, give or take. Right, so or maybe a few more. So uh, <clears throat> I'll just leave us off with two, with the first two. So first we have uh, Vegeta moment, right? Where Speaking we of have, Vegeta, we what do you think of Vegeta's voice? <clears throat> Vegeta's voice was spot on. Mm-hmm. That's all I have to say. It was spot on. It's Vegeta. You can't really go wrong with Vegeta. Um, <laughs> Christopher Save, it's fucking genius. Vegeta's sitting on top of the spacecraft, and not spacecraft, aircraft, just hanging out while they're going like fucking mark seven <laughs> and uh he wants to get some training done so almost like okay then i'm gonna delve you into the fucking ocean and shit and somehow vegeta's feet are magnetized to this goddamn thing and she's doing loop-de-loops and shit and going through the ocean and the freaking trees and shit and he's got twigs and shit in his hair and it looks fucking hilarious and he's just sitting there like mm, all pissed off and his facial expression does not change throughout the whole thing nor does he close his eyes while he's going through the trees it's just oh it's good it's good fun and then and then you had vegeta uh doing things that he wouldn't normally do just to fulfill a promise that happened early in the manga I, I loved that flashback i thought he actually showed it to show the oh, yeah. the flashback of vegeta yeah. and trunks rain and and then we have this scene where Vegeta starts eating and shit, and he's like, "Like, oh my god, this shit is great!" <laughs> and stuff. And, he, and then he gets squirted on by a giant octopus, and he gets pissed off. He's like, "I will kill all of your and, race!" And Black Vegeta was born. But uh, yeah, um, <laughs> anyway, I love that part. Where he goes, "I will eat you and all your race." Uh, mm-hmm. Chris Sabat actually posted that on Twitter before, so he ruined that joke. But whatever. <laughs> but. Uh, Pretty much, uh, yeah, and then the ending of the little Vegeta moment was basically when uh, uh, <clears throat> he was standing in the middle of a crowd and everyone was bumping into him and shit. <laughs> and he's getting pissed off, and then he's just like, enough! And then he just flies off. Well, so, and, and that, then, then Trunks tanks him, but like he can't hear you, so what's the point? <laughs> and if he did, he would eh, well, punch you in the face. I did not need your tanks! <gasps> Don't have a show of affection. It's a sign of weakness. So, yeah, well, uh, next uh, we cut to uh, Mr. Beerus uh, looking at more planets to eat food on. And this time he finds, well, a Weiss finds a planet with kind of cavemen alien people. And mm. the caveman alien person kills a dinosaur and takes it away with his tribe to eat it. And then Whis shows up and goes, I have two minutes to uh, get this dinosaur off you. And if you do it peacefully, we won't blow the shit out of you and shit. And then the, <laughs> the caveman turns into super caveman too. And <laughs> and Whis is like, oh dear, well, I can still get it off you. And Beers is like, nah, ah, bang, blows up the planet. And Whis is like, but you wanted to with eat the With the most dinosaur. tiniest energy... <laughs> The tiniest energy blast. Well, it went through the core of the planet and it erupted all the fucking lava underneath the planet and exploded. That's the way I saw it. But, um, yeah, so we didn't get to eat the dinosaur. Well, not we, uh, Beerus didn't get to eat the dinosaur. And oh, I just love Beerus and Weiss's antics. It's amazing. Mm. Yep, and, so there's Beerus for you. And, uh, this, 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 uh, makes, uh, the Elder Kai shit hit pants. And he's like, Do you not feel that, you idiot hybrid man? to the other Kai and he's like oh no he has not he has only awoken him 49 years away yeah yeah that, that, that part isn't important but it's just shown that they're concerned about Beerus being awake and showing mm-hmm. more development there um yeah but yeah you gotta love Beerus and Weiss's ang- Beerus and Winks Beerus and Winks that's what I'm gonna call them <laughs> yeah so Cutting to that, we cut to a little, like, montage-style thing between Goku and Vegeta training. And Vegeta's talking over it about how he already told that 
that Goku was the best fighter and shit and all that shit. And he's like, not for long, Kakarot, not for long. And shit. And he's like, I'm coming back with a vengeance and I'm going to break your shit, boy. Okay, that, that <laughs> and all amazing. that shit. Uh, and the music in this episode is amazing as well. The music so far has really been impressing me. Uh, I really like it. Um, it's the really on their game with the music. And I, I commend them for that. Anyway, yeah, there was one thing we forgot to mention. Uh, Goku went to train with King Kai, and funny things happened there. And Goku's now training with King Kai while Vegeta is training with um, what Tails and Gravity. Alone, he's playing with himself. Like, alone. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, there's really not much to talk about in this episode. A lot of filler, uh, filler that we like, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, nothing really happened. It's actually really hard to even talk about the episode and sound enthusiastic because there's just nothing to really talk and about. And there was no new characters either, so we can't comment on their voices or anything. I mean, there was the Elder Kai. The Elder Kai actually talked in this one, and he sounded nice. He sounded mm. normal. He sounds like he always does. Yeah. Like the crystal guy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what else? Uh, as I said, animation fine. Uh, music amazing. And that's about it. Um, oh, one thing. I'm really impressed with their syncing up with the, with the mouths. Oh, yeah. I'm actually quite impressed with that. Well, it's a professional dub. They'd want to be good at that. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's just—it's just ah, it's—it's it's really good. Mm. At least it's better than the syncing up in Dragon Ball Xenoverse too. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even bother syncing up in that. Mm. <laughs> but so yeah, that's about it. Uh, overall, yeah, it was a good episode. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad that they're taking their time. I'm glad that they're not rushing through and going. Oh, let's just get to the fights that we all saw in the movie anyway. I like the way it's given us more story behind Beerus and Wees and more, like, build up to it. Uh, give you a little bit more backstory from what happened. Yeah, exactly. Like, before. Jeez. But that's that. Mm. And that's our review, I guess. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry for the shortness again. And hopefully the next one will be a bit more eventful. And if it's not, ah, well. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Will Kamehameha see you soon? <laughs> <laughs>